Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You sure you're okay being alone in here? I have Gaia. And learning how to interpret the glyphs of the old ones, it keeps me occupied. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. You mentioned you've been teaching yourself how to read? Yes. Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? Not that I claim to understand how. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhth? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakhth looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakhth saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakhth with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakhth would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement, but some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The Chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, 
I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along, and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves, or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. I need to go, but if you need anything, you can contact me through your focus. I'll keep that in mind. The old ones like to dance. Well, they didn't have two left feet, like I do. I could teach you. Don't tempt me. Find a forge, find an inn, and leave me alone. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. I thought you were leaving. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. I should go. May the fields bloom a plenty. Aloy, something the matter? I better get going. Don't let me keep you.
Did you forget something? I need to head out. I'll return to our training. Do you have time to talk? I do. I've gotta go. Go well. <laughs>